Okay, so we're back. <laughs> For those of you watching on YouTube, welcome to another day of Road to TCG Worlds 2018. Thank you so much for being here. And now we are we featured a Souls list. Now we're featuring Andrew Mahomes, Pikachu EX, Magnus on list. So who would have thought about Pikachu indeed? Um, Andrew Mahone apparently did, and he he also is using a very a very peculiar supporter that I generally did not remember it existed. And yeah, so let's take a look, right? Pikachu EX, the main Pokemon of the deck. It has the attack Iron Tail, which on a good day can be really good. On a bad day, it will deal exactly zero damage. But the main idea behind using Pikachu EX is using Over Spark which allows you to discard all of the lightning energy attached to this Pokemon and you deal 50 damage times the number of energy cards you discarded. So for three and a choice band, you get a knockout on pretty much every single Pokemon um, or most of the Pokemon that are currently being played. So that's really, really good. Uh, with four energy and a choice band, you get a knockout on everything except uh, the CDI GX and maybe Solgaleo GX of the Pokemon that you might see getting played. But yeah, Pikachu is a really strong attacker. And then you combine that with Magnezone, which allows you to attach any um, any amount of Lightning Energy card from your hand to your Pokemon. Well, there's the obvious combo, right? You discard with Pikachu, you recover with Fisherman or Energy Retrieval, and then you use Magnezone once again to reattach the energy and do that all over again. Um, Thunder Blast is a pretty, pretty okay attack. 140 HP on a non-GX is decently beefy, but if you're attacking with Magnezone, you're probably in a very bad position. Now, as alternate attackers, we also have Raikou, which has, which has a really cool Shining Body ability, which reduces 20 damage if it has a Lightning Energy attached, and can also deal unlimited damage without having to discard everything, unlike Pikachu. It's also a non-GX. Then we have Tapu Goku GX, which we actually went up against in the previous video um, using Alola Ninetales, which has Aero Trail, where when you play it down, you absorb lightning energy, as many as you want, and attach them to that Pokemon. Then you have Sky High Claws, which deals a very respectable 130 damage for 3 energy. And then you get Tapu Thunder GX, which, if your opponent is not careful, can definitely catch you off guard, just like it did against me, and you can get 1 hit KOs fairly easily. Um, we have a single new in order to copy uh, Raikou or copy Pikachu GX. It gives us a free treater. It also gives us um, a different typing to attack with as well and take advantage of the of the Psychic Week Pokemon as well. And then we have one Alolan Bullpix for setup. We have two Tapu Lele's for setup. And we have a fake 2 2 Octillery line in order to support our middle to late game. Now. As far as item card or as far as supporter cards go, we have the four Sycamore for N, which should be standard in pretty much every deck. We have two Guzma in order to to cycle what we want to attack with and potentially save Magnezone from the active spot. We have two Fishermen to recover um, up to four of our twelve energy, and they're very useful because we will be discarding them. We have two Bridget, like I said, two gives you insurance in that first turn Tabulele where. You'll never be nervous if your Bridget is prized, you might be in a little bit of trouble. And then we have this very interesting supporter, Clement or Clement, or I have no idea how to pronounce it because I never saw the cartoon. However, you get to search your deck for up to four Lightning Energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. So this is like the perfect card to combine with Pikachu EX. I generally did not even remember this card existed. And yeah, um, pretty, pretty interesting inclusion. It's only a one-off, so we'll see if we actually get to use it at any point. Uh, but guaranteeing four energy essentially means Pikachu EX deals at least 200 damage. So yeah, that's for um, supporter cards and item cards are simply four draw, four work candy, four energy retrieval, and four choice band. Then we have the single rescue stretcher and we have the 12 basic lightning energy. So that's the deck. Let's jump into the ladder and see if we can get to use Pikachu EX and Clement effectively. And Umbrian Zoroark, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for being here. And yeah, you might be up against Tapu Bulu Bikavolt. 
We might be up against Tapu Bulu be gobbled. Okay, we do get to go first, which in this war of setups um, will probably be very good for us. Um, we get the Remoraid, and we're gonna have to rely on Alolan Vulpix to keep um, our setup going. Now, the good thing about running so many energy and also so many energy retrieval is the fact that. Um, Wow, one Tapu Lele is priced, but our Bridget's are there. So imagine if Bridget was was priced this game. Um, we would be in a lot of trouble. Neither is priced, but if one was priced and we were only running one, we would be in a lot of trouble. Um, there's also one Sigourney priced. There's um, one Rare Candy priced. And is the Vulpix there? Yeah, it is. Okay. So... And... Why not play Ether Paradise? Well, this is not my list. I can see how it could be good, um, but the list is very tight as well. So that's probably one of the reasons. Now, I could only just go for one Magnemite and play it risky. I know my opponent will not be able to knock out the Magnemite next turn, so I'm actually liking that play. Um, now, he could go and knock out my Remoraid, so that would be really bad. I cannot go for Pikachu and other Pokemon, so I'm gonna go for the Mew and maybe the Raikou or maybe the Bulbix. I think I'm gonna go for the Raikou just to apply pressure or to try to apply pressure. And then I'm gonna attach the energy, I'm gonna retreat into the Mew which can survive the hit as well. And then yeah, we're gonna rely a lot on this auxiliary to find our our Magnezone, but I trust him. Um, your logo is cool in my opinion. Thank you so much. Which logo? The, the Tableman down there? Thank you so much. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say, Sensen. Okay, so my opponent immediately goes for a Sega more, discarding Rare Candy Vico Bolt and not even finding a Grubbin. So it's really rough on him. Um, we're starting to clutter our hand with energy retrieval cards and we don't have the Magnezone or the Pikachu EX yet. There's a Pikachu, however, we don't get, um, we don't get a way to find Magnezone. So perhaps going for a Lola and Vulpix would have been a lot better. And the Raikou. Now I could go for the Iron Tail. That seems really weak. I think I'd rather just give up the Mew for now. Or maybe not. No, yeah, I'm gonna give up the Mew. It's giving up one prize card, which is not ideal, but what are you gonna do? And <laughs> thank you, Sensen. Yeah, I like the Tablemon. I really like the Tablemon. I like the one that's like on the card and fighting, and this Tablemon, which looks like the one on the bottom right there, which looks very happy. And okay, so Mew gets knocked out. You should have used. Oh, encounter! Search your deck. Oh, you are a hundred percent right, Andre and Dragon. You are a hundred percent right. I should have used that attack. Now my opponent attached an energy to the Grubbin. He can still kind of knock out. Oh, I should have used Encounter. That's so good. I should have used Encounter. Gosh, I really should have used Encounter. Okay, so off of one card, I definitely won't be finding the Magnezone. Uh, no, it's a Remoraid, so I'm actually gonna use the Guzma and promote Tapu Bulu GX and I'm gonna promote the Raikou myself. <sighs> but yeah, that was very silly and I'm just gonna have to bath. I should have used Encounter. <laughs> and yeah, Aether Paradise is a good, is a good choice, it's just there's so many things you want to run in this deck and you have to prioritize energy retrieval. And Gaio, hello, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Okay, so grabs artillery off of the Ultra Ball, attaches an energy to the Bulu. And you, the Sylvian deck you went against at Fort Wayne, does it have any new tech with it or just normal expanded Sylvian control? Um, Chips, 
it was only um, normal expanded seal gun control. The newest card that I saw, or the unexpected card that I saw, was um, the bodybuilding dumbbells, which gives Sylvian an extra 40 HP. That was really good. Um, but that was pretty much the only out of the norm card. Um, yeah, it's a Rosic, which is from Expanded. And okay, so thanks to my ability, I either force him to use the GX attack or I force him to. Um, discard all the energy he chooses to discard all the energy ah, okay so we really need that magnesone we really really need that magnesone and that is not a magnesone however it is a card that can maybe get us magnesone but see the thing is there's no magnetone so we need oh. okay i'm probably gonna have to use encount encounter now i should have used it a few turns before that was a really big mistake on my part. I should have used Encounter for sure. I really, really, really should have used Encounter. Um, I'm gonna have to use it a turn later and... Oh no! <laughs> I misclicked! <laughs> oh gosh. How embarrassing. No way. No way. <sighs> That was very silly. Okay, I'm just gonna concede this game. I really apologize for that. Should have used Encounter before, and I should have used Encounter that turn, although with the Cosma it wouldn't have mattered. But yeah, I'm not going to forget about Encounter next time. And I'm gonna go for a Lowland Vulpix as well. That would have solved all issues if I had just gone for a Lowland Vulpix. So you gotta trust the Vulpix, huh? <laughs> you gotta trust the Vulpix. Okay, so, 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 ah, yeah, that was very silly, between the misclick and the misplay of not, I generally did not remember what encounter did, I didn't even read it, um, use not a card I use very commonly, <laughs> okay, so once again, we're gonna, I mean, at least we can definitely use a little one Vulpix on the first turn after we Ultra Volt for Lele for Bridget. So it's not bad. And we can use a little one Vulpix to get Magnesone and Magnesone and um, Magnesone and, oops, never mind. Magnesone and Octillery. And yeah, um, only English today. And I'm not sure if tomorrow or Thursday maybe, but I will be having a, a Spanish stream as well. It's just, um, I, I decided to do English today. Okay, so there's a Pikachu EX. Do I wanna bench the second Pikachu EX? I think I do. And I'm going to Sycamore here. And my point is I have a good deck. I, I wish I did, but I missed. <coughs> I missed on the Magnemite, so that's not good. I'm gonna play down the mule? No. Am I? Yeah, if he if he uses Neuburn GX's attack just once, I will never be able to evolve into Magnezone. So Hmm. I guess just one Magnemite. Ah, this is so rough. And yeah, guys, as you can see, now we have 80 championship points. Um, we're getting closer and closer to the goal. And yeah, there's another end. So Floatstone plus Neuvern GX probably means I should just concede. I guess Raikou is a pretty good attacker in this matchup. Uh, there's a Neuvern GX. Can my opponent not get a Floatstone? That would be really nice. Uh, red card, what? Red card, okay, the red card is fine. The red card is actually fine. We're gonna lose, we're gonna lose the Magnezone. Do I leave space for Raikou? Yeah, I think Raikou is the best attacker I have here because it reduces the damage that Neuvern GX deals and also, um, yeah, Raikou is definitely the play here. 
So the red card was pretty fine. And then we get energy. I'm gonna play the retrieval just because um, I don't want my opponent to, I don't want to be locked out of those cards. And then I'm gonna beacon for Magnetone and for Actillery. I wish I had Magneton, but this is not my list. I think you should always play at least one Magneton. And yeah. Quick question, you're, you're building drum in real life and you see some lists that have turn to set up. Potown, multi-switch and some don't. Well, there's many different styles. Um, a lot comes down to your style of play. Some people find using Potown um, more reliable to be able to set up. Other people find multi-switch and uh, rainbow energies to try to set up more reliable. So, I mean, it's different styles. Wow, my opponent did not. Wow. Um, okay, so now off of the end, we have to hope we get very candy, Magnezone, and two lightning energy, one to retreat and one to attack the Garbiter. But that seems very unlikely, and yeah, we don't hit it. Um, that's fine still, I think. Uh, I mean, I can do this and then not grab anything and see if I get lucky with a rare candy off of the artillery. And then if I don't, I can just use, no, I can just use the energy retrieval to get back the energy, which is what I really need. And I'll just begin to thin out my deck a little bit more. And I'll grab Tapu Gogo and Tapu Leila. And yeah, so I've never seen a multi-switch version. Um, I mean, there's no established better version, or I think um, in the new format, um, we don't have any real results to go off of, so we don't know what's the best strategy. Um, but I wanna say that um, Potown is probably better than Multi-Switch. That's, that's my, my gut tells me that Potown is better than Multi-Switch, okay. So my opponent's gonna get the first Distort off. We finally find a rare candy, however, we don't have a Magnezone, but we do find energy, so that's the important part. Finding a Cosma would be really nice to just take a knockout on the Carpenter. Um, but yeah, there's no there's no point of, of using Magnezone if, <laughs> if um, we don't even have, um, if we don't even have abilities. So yeah. And do you think this deck could be competitive viable? Um, yeah, I think Raichu GX seems a lot stronger than this. Um, this seems very, it seems fun, but I don't think it's going to be very viable just because Pika GX has such a low HP. And as you can see, um, it's actually very difficult to to set up. So where can you find this deck list? Well, you will be able to find it on Thursday on my channel. Um, if once the stream ends, you can watch the, um, the video and check it out there. I showcased it at the beginning of the, of the games, or you can, um, you can also check out Darium's competitive Pokemon channel and you can find it there as well. Okay, so 140 damage. If my opponent decides to go on the offensive and knock out the Raikou, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble for sure because I don't have abilities. So even though I can't get energy back if he breaks the lock, um, I won't be able to do too much about it. And oh, the multi switch was a junior's list. Okay, um, I mean, that's fair. It's definitely a fair way to run the deck. It's just I've never, I've never seen it actually um, built that way. Uh, but yeah, I guess Masters is not everything, right? Ah, oh, I'm so silly. Should have just gone after the Garbiter. Should have just gone after the Garbiter. Okay, I can do that next turn. But I also, by pressuring the, the Noiverns, like, I need, I would need two head flips with Pikachu EX, right? To get a knockout. So that also works. And... And uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Sanchin didn't have a way to hit 130 on turn two, which is definitely very interesting. Um, some people feel it's very needed. Other people don't think it's needed. So 
it's up to um, style as well. It's up to your own play style too. And yeah, <laughs> this is a very annoying match for sure. Very annoying match. And what do I think about Cernia's break? Um, Cernia's break could be viable, especially because now the format is a lot slower. So you can get Geomancy going for quite a few turns to get a lot of energy into play. So it could be, it could be viable. Um, wow, my opponent decides to use Tapu Cure GX. Okay, so... I mean, we're still in a bad position, don't get me wrong. However, what I can do is get rid of the Carpenter, so that if I ever do have an opportunity to set up uh, Magnezone, I will, and also, that means I have access to Octillery, which is pretty good. And yeah, I'm gonna use the Retrieval to get back the two energy, and we're pretty good here. We are pretty okay. Um, our price card could help us, maybe. Um, it's an energy. Energy is always good. Energy is definitely always good. See, the thing is, I really don't want to deal... Um, I really don't want to deal to discard all my energy just to secure a knockout on an Oivern. And he does have a 3 hit KO on me. Now, it'd be nice if he was tempted to just take a knockout with a second attack. But now we have Octillery, so that would be very risky. And yeah, so as I was saying, Cernus Break definitely seems like a viable option. Oh no, he goes after my Octillery. So well, that's bad news for us. Bad news for us and for our future for our future setup. Okay, but actually Tapu Gogo, now that we have abilities, Tapu Gogo seems fairly good. Um, I'll draw one card off of my Abyssal Hand. The only time we will be able to use it. <laughs> we get the Magnezone. And yeah, by having Tapu Gogo GX powered up and Raikou, I think that should be enough to win us a match. So it's bas it basically comes down to um, Neuvern GX's very underwhelming uh, damage output that we'll be able to win this match. Even though we're under the lock, as long as we have enough energy, that's good. And with Skylark, he cannot find the red card because he already used top four. So we should be good here. We should be good. Finds a choice band. Hopefully he attaches it to the active. No, he keeps it in hand. Very smartly keeps it in hand. Um, so, yeah. I mean, do I want a knockout or not? That's the question. Do I want a knockout with Tapu Goku GX? I think the answer is yes. I do think the answer is yes. So I want to absorb this energy. And... Huh. I guess I'll leave one energy on the Pikachu. And that's it, I only absorb two, and then I'll attach another energy to a Pikachu. That way I'm, I'm powering up more, uh, duh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why am I making so many mistakes? I'm thinking so far ahead that I'm making this really, really silly mistake. Oh. That was insanely dumb. <laughs> That was insanely dumb. I'm so sorry, guys. That was insanely dumb. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna get a KO next turn, but that might actually cost me the match. That might actually cost me the match. Okay, Tapu Thunder GX. That's what I wanted to do the previous turn. Oh, oh my. I'm playing really bad today. Um, okay, so he needs an energy. And if he does, he breaks the lock to get a knockout. If he doesn't have a Psychic to use uh, Sonic Volume, and he attaches it to the Lele, actually. So he's going to keep the lock, and we are going to be able to deal 130 damage to that uh, Neuburn. And wow, we actually draw Clement. <laughs> we actually draw Clement. Okay, I'll take the Clement draw for sure. <laughs> okay, Clement works. Um, do you think Pikachu GX and Mimikyu GX are coming to Mex? Uh, well, to us, yeah, I definitely think they will be released here. Um, I'm gonna attach an energy to the Raikou, and then it's two more energies to Pikachu to finish off the match. 
I'm gonna use sky high class and welcome to all the new followers. I haven't said that today. Welcome to all the new followers. Um, did anyone see the Gur guys from the new set? I honestly haven't seen any cards from the new set. I really haven't seen any of the new cards. And um, do you think Zorak GX could replace Artillery or a Guru in most decks? Yeah, I think Zorak GX is going to see a lot of play. And definitely once Artillery rotates, we're gonna see... We are going to see... Um, I should have attached to Pikachu. I keep making so many mistakes. Um, we're gonna see Zorak GX being played a lot. So I really recommend you guys buy the Zorak GXs soon. Like as, as soon as they come out. Ugh. Keep making all these mistakes. Should just be well. If I attack with Pikachu EX, a single, um, a single Psychic would win my opponent the match, right? It would, yeah. So I'm gonna use Bridget. I'm not gonna grab anything, and I'm just gonna Thunder Lance. This is so difficult. 10 plus 40 for each tool card you discard from your side for a TC. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And there's a Psychic, there's a Pikachu EX draw. Um, I I think the mistake cost us the match for sure. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, so yeah, let's try Pikachu EX one more time. And let's play focus because that was a really bad mistake on my part. Really, really bad mistake. Um, thinking too far ahead on who to attach, and then I forgot to attach the Tabu Gogo GX, which was a Pokemon that was going to take a knockout. Um, they will release a Zorark GX, yeah, with one full art copy and stuff for cheap. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, but then eventually there will be, there will be a point where, um, where people will probably, um, like Zorark GX's promos will like stores will run out or if you have to buy the whole thing instead of like if you have to buy the whole thing for like 30 bucks instead of just the Zorark GX then if there are no more single copies of Zorark GX then that means you have to like um, buy four boxes of 120 bucks each so um, I really recommend you guys buy the Zorark GXs as soon as possible okay so oops not Fisherman Bridget um, we're up against Golisopod Guard. Probably another really difficult match for this deck. Um, not attaching energy turn one is really detrimental. But I'm gonna find the Magnemite. I'm gonna find. There's no Vulpix this time around. There's no Vulpix. So I'm gonna find the Mew. And. Gonna find Raikou? I guess. And then using. Sparkling Induction, I can actually retreat into the Mew and pass. So, Barziru, I'm not playing against um, subscribers or viewers today, but I will be making a day uh, to do that. So, yeah. Um, some other time, okay? Um, sorry about that. And. Yeah. Floatstone prizes are crazy. Um, there are so many crazy, like, yeah. After Worlds, Gardevoir GX is spiked up, Golisopod GX is spiked up, a lot of cards spiked up in prizes big time. And okay, so I'm gonna touch energy to Raikou and I'm gonna Sycamore here. There's no reason not to Sycamore. And I really, I really wish I could get Rare Candy Magnezone, but it's apparently the most difficult thing for this deck. I don't think we've ever used, in three games, we have not been able to use one Magnezone ability. We really haven't been able to do so. Um, so I'm gonna Ultra Ball away Pikachu and a Lightning. I'm gonna dis I'm discarding a lot of Lightning energy, but I really need to. And I'm gonna keep the Coco GX. So I'm gonna discard the Lele and the other Lightning. That's a lot of Lightning energy in the discard pile already. Four? And I'm gonna grab the Magnezone. Only one Magnezone, but still four Rare Candy left in my deck. So can I hit a Rare Candy off of the next three cards? 
And yep, there it is. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now we're missing one energy, so maybe we should have discarded the Tabu Go Go. Um, that would have actually left us in a really good uh, position for sure. But alas, there's nothing we can do about that. Live and learn, right? Um, Espion EX. Yeah, Espion EX suddenly got really, really popular. Really, really popular. Okay, so there's Trash Challenge. There's a DCE. And yeah, my opponent's very smartly prioritizing Trash Challenge Carpenter over the Glycopod. Doesn't find the Glycopod. But because of Trash Challenge, we actually cannot. Um, like, we cannot power up another threat and. Raikou does not survive the Golisopod hit. So... And <sighs> why is this game so hard? If I just discarded the Coco instead of the Lightning. I mean, I really didn't expect to get the Red Candy, so... Um, I mean, if I... I can take a knockout, sure, but... Then Raikou gets knocked out, and then I have no way to knock out the Carpenter. So... Mm, I really have no idea. I guess I power up the Magnezone? Because Magnezone can potentially knock out the Carpenter as well. <sighs> One, two, three, four item cards. There's Ultra Ball. Or Glycopod. <sighs> yeah, this is not good, guys. This is really not good. If somehow he doesn't have the Cosma this turn, then we can hit onto the Glycopod. Or maybe he just uses the GX attack. Or he maybe just spreads. No. Okay. That's good. Oh, he uses Armor Press. Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm gonna attack with Raikou now. And I get a rare candy. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um, I'll play the Pikachu. And then I just I need to pressure here. So I'll use Sunderlands. 20 less damage, that's still a 2 hit KO. And what do I think of Seal Valley GX with the new tool cards? Well, I mean it surely has potential. You can pretty much cover your deck's weakness very easily and then you also get energy acceleration so on paper it looks really good we'll have to see if it actually ends up working out that way but it definitely has potential and yeah we're getting just obliterated here absolutely obliterated um wanna i guess i'll promote the lele we're hoping to top deck one of the two Cosmas, which is never a good thing when you're just hoping. Um, and yeah, there's literally nothing we can do here. Uh, hello, Mad Dog. <laughs> yeah, it was very nice to see you in Fort Wayne. And yeah. Yeah, the Silvali GX looks pretty good because it's splashable, that's correct. Um, yeah, there's no way we win this match either. <laughs> there's absolutely just no way. And now my opponent spreads, therefore Magnezone actually um, is in range of first impression. And I get an end. So that works. We'll see if that end can get us the Cosma. And it does. So, I mean, the thing is... <laughs> The thing is, once Magnezone goes down, we were we will need another Magnezone to actually deal or do something. So we know one Magnezone is priced, we have the Risky Stretcher, but I don't know if that's priced. There we see an end, so there goes our Guzma. <laughs> um, uh, there's a Guzma once again, so... 
maybe, maybe we can do this. Maybe. But we're also getting a ton of item cards in the discard pile. There's four already. Four, five, six. There's six already in the discard pile. That's 120. And Pikachu EX is just so, so frail. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just, I generally don't even know if the... If the Magnezone is in the deck. Okay, but we get the Magnezone, so now we need Rare Candy Magnezone again. <laughs> we need both cards in their hand at the same time. Can we get that? Is there any chance we make a comeback here? We see a Wonder Tag. Is he gonna go for a Guzma? Is he just gonna try to finish the game off? No, he's gonna stick a more. Okay. So he recognizes that Magnezone is the way to. Like the engine I use, he also didn't have a good hand, I guess. So that makes sense. Um, he's only played one Rainbow Energy though. No, no Rainbow Energy. So he can always attack with Trash Challenge. And looks like he's gonna take a knockout with Armor Press. But that actually, if I get the four Energy on Pikachu, that doesn't prevent the the one hit KO. So it seems really hard to pull off at this point, but we're gonna try. We are certainly going to try. So I feel like doing this is the best play possible to try to find the rare candy. Uh, I could also use Tapu Koko GX. One, two, three, four, five, six energy. That's 300 damage. But I still need the rare candy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Tapu Goku will actually be able to survive. So I guess I'll use Tapu Goku because I only need one energy instead of two. So let's use Abyssal Hand. Can we get a rare candy? Yes, we can. Oh, but that means we we lose the the Coco. <laughs> I guess that means we lose the Coco. Um, so now we have to hope my opponent doesn't draw a rainbow energy off of the end to three. Because that's a ninth item card, right? Two, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine item cards. So nothing we can do at this point. I'll use magnetic circuit onto the Pikachu. We can survive this hit. Um, like if my opponent doesn't have a rainbow energy, then maybe we can do something. Maybe, very big maybe. Um, energy retrieval can get us a knockout on another uh, Golisopod. If we survive this turn, we can win. But there's a rainbow, <laughs> so never mind. Never mind. And now, basically we need... Now we need the other Pikachu EX. And one Lightning. Okay. So we need, we have the Pikachu X, we need one Lightning Energy. Can we get it? No, that's not, I should have fetched the other Rem Raid. Um, I use this, I find the Pikachu, I attach the Pikachu, and then I cannot Sycamore because I lose, but then Octillery doesn't even draw me a single card, so we lose anyways. One Lightning Energy short. One lightning energy short. We actually don't have any lightning energy left. So yeah, that's a game. So <laughs> no no Pikachu EX victories for us today. Sucks. <laughs> but oh well. Um, yeah, the rare candies uh, definitely increase in prices as well. And I don't know if they'll release more types. I don't think they will. Um, it seems like a, a mechanic for... For that set, but I don't think they will release more of those tool cards without a Silvali GX in the very same set. And hello Pixel Hungry, thank you so much for for being here. It's been a while, yeah, I've been really sick and the travel and no internet at my house, so all of that combined for me to be disappeared from the internet, <laughs> but I'm back. And what's the best deck in format in your opinion? I think, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the best deck in the format is, honestly. Um, I don't think, I think it's too early to tell, uh, but there are a lot of strong options such as Aloha Ninetales, 
such as Gardevoir, such as Golisopod Garbiter, such as SPM Garbiter, such as Hosea Lazzle and um, Volcanian Turtonator. Uh, Vika Bulu is also very strong, so there's a lot of strong decks. And yeah, Greninja also has a lot of good matchups. Um, if you avoid anything that has a grass uh, symbol on it, then Greninja is also pretty viable. And yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna finish the stream here. Um, if you were watching on YouTube, thank you so much. A very short stream, I know, but it's getting late. Um, I'm still not completely uh, healthy, and I have a lot of things to do for tomorrow. So I'm gonna finish the stream here. But thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I promise I will stream more. I'm moving houses on Friday, and I'm moving houses to a new place, um, getting a new internet provider, different from the one I had um, in my previous house. And I will be... Um, like I will be there for at least a year. So everything should be a lot more stable. I will be traveling a lot, but throughout the week, there should be no excuse for me not to stream and not to have videos every single day on the channel. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys to on tomorrow's video. Bye-bye guys.